In this video, we will discuss the development of the external genitalia, including sexual differentiation, hormonal regulation, and morphological changes. We will explore the complex interplay of molecular and genetic mechanisms involved in this process, as well as the factors that can lead to developmental abnormalities. Join us as we delve into this captivating subject and uncover the remarkable transformations that occur during external genitalia development. In the early stages of embryonic development, the activation of a specific gene called SRY determines whether an individual will develop male or female external genitalia. If the SRY gene is present, a series of molecular events occurs, leading to the formation of male genitalia such as the penis and scrotum. If the SRY gene is absent, female genitalia will develop instead. During early embryonic development, the gonads have the potential to become either ovaries or testes. The genital ridge develops and gives rise to these primordial gonads. Their fate is determined by specific molecular signaling events that either lead to ovarian or testicular development. The development of the external genitalia is closely associated with the differentiation and regression of two sets of ducts, the mesonephric ducts and the paramesonephric ducts. In males, the mesonephric ducts give rise to the epididymis, vas deferens, and seminal vesicles, while the paramesonephric ducts regress. In females, the opposite occurs, with the paramesonephric ducts developing into the fallopian tubes, uterus, and upper vagina, while the mesonephric ducts regress. During the bipotential precursor stage, important structures like the genital tubercle, urogenital folds, and labioscrotal swellings form. These structures will differentiate into the penis-slash-clitoris, urethra, scrotum-slash-labia minora, and labia majora, guided by molecular interactions and signaling pathways. In males, the formation of the male external genitalia undergoes several intricate processes. Phallus elongation occurs through the proliferation and differentiation of mesodermal cells, resulting in the elongation of the genital tubercle. Concurrently, the urethral groove, which initially runs along the ventral surface of the genital tubercle, closes to form the penile urethra. The fusion of the labioscrotal swellings establishes the scrotum, and the differentiation of the genital tubercle leads to the formation of the penis. In females, the development of the external genitalia involves the formation of the clitoris, labia minora, and labia majora. The genital tubercle gives rise to the clitoris, which becomes more prominent during development. The urogenital folds differentiate into the labia minora, while the labioscrotal swellings fuse to develop into the labia majora. These structures are essential for reproductive and sexual functions in females. Hormonal regulation plays a vital role in the development of male and female external genitalia. Androgens, such as testosterone, are responsible for the development of male-specific structures, while estrogens are involved in female external genitalia differentiation. Enzymes, such as 5-alpha reductase and aromatase, convert hormones to their active forms, influencing the development of specific structures. Hormone receptors also play a critical role in mediating the effects of androgens and estrogens on target tissues. Genetic disorders can dramatically impact the development of external genitalia. For instance, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, caused by mutations in enzymes involved in steroid synthesis, can induce virilization of the female genitalia. On the other hand, androgen insensitivity syndrome, resulting from mutations in the androgen receptor gene, leads to incomplete masculinization of the male external genitalia. Understanding these genetic disorders is crucial for diagnosis and management. The development of the external genitalia involves complex morphogenetic processes, including cell migration, proliferation, and tissue interactions. Epithelial mesenchymal interactions play a crucial role in guiding the development and differentiation of the genital structures. These interactions involve intricate signaling pathways that regulate the fusion and remodeling of tissues, resulting in the formation of the male or female external genitalia. Immunohistochemical analysis provides valuable insights into the cellular and molecular events occurring during external genitalia development. Researchers utilize specific markers and antibodies to identify the presence and localization of proteins, hormones, and signaling molecules. Through immunohistochemistry, various stages of differentiation and their associated molecular markers can be identified, helping unravel the complex processes underlying external genitalia development. Comparative embryology examines the development of the external genitalia across different vertebrate species. By studying various organisms, scientists can gain a deeper understanding of the evolutionary changes and anatomical variations in external genitalia development. This comparative approach provides valuable insights into the shared genetic and developmental pathways as well as the unique adaptations that have occurred during the course of evolution. Surgical interventions are often necessary to correct congenital or acquired malformations of the external genitalia. 
Surgeons employ various techniques and strategies to reconstruct or modify the genital structures, depending on the specific abnormalities present. These interventions aim to restore normal function and appearance, but they also carry potential complications. Understanding the principles and potential risks associated with surgical interventions is essential for providing optimal care to individuals with genital abnormalities. In conclusion, the development of the external genitalia is a fascinating process involving molecular, genetic, hormonal, and morphological changes. Understanding these mechanisms enhances our knowledge of embryology and its clinical significance.